Hey, what's up, guys? It's Samarki here, back with another stadium update on the Team Mongoose themed stadium. It's getting late for me, it's half two in the morning, I'm not feeling too well, but guys, it's map reset day. And yeah, this is basically the final version of the stadium. We cannot get any more done because it's basically being reset later today. I just thought I'd let you guys know that even what you will see in this video may not be the download that you get. Only because Potato told me that the download you'll be getting is was, was uh, uploaded like two days ago. So all the stalls you'll see, um, like a lot of the rooms that we added, they were done today basically in since about nine o'clock we've been working hard on it and yeah it's going to be a shame if we can't get the whole thing on the final download but if we can't then you'll still have the main stadium you just won't have the rooms inside you'll have all the paths all that so the base the structure basically so that's still very good for a download that's basically what i usually do you know the stands the walkways and the outside so that's you know the base of what we usually do but, but what I'm going to do guys, I'm just going to give you a little walk through around it, since, you know, you may want to see it, and, uh, which basically means if this isn't the updated download, this is basically all you're going to see of what we've actually got. So, to be honest, I'll actually, you know, I'll give the guys credit, all the guys that have helped me, so I'll just, let me just, uh, so where are they? I'll, what I'll do is, I'll say all the names since they deserve it for helping me. So... Okay, okay. All the people that helped me, they were uh, Ryan L, Gallerin, Falcon Bird Nine, Epsilation, Forge, I am to Bagels, Wedger, Vigimufu, Jumper Cables, Wolfmaster Twelve, Hassison One, Carlton Banks, Jonesy Nine Four One, Killer Mike O Five Two Four, Andrew O Eight O Nine. Naysay, Naysayer, Nays, I can't even pronounce this, so I'm sorry, Naysay, Naysaga maybe, sorry, I can't pronounce it, uh, WinJ99, Tribeam17, Toaster Beef, and uh, apparently Kearney said he helped me, so we have to take his word for that, so yep, Kearney apparently helped, I'm sorry if you did help, and I have forgotten to write your name down, but they're the guys who I've, uh, who I've written down from when, you know, having the uh, the piece of uh, the notepad up. Well, basically, this stadium was, it's an American football stadium since it's what uh, Team Mongoose like, since they don't like, uh, they don't really pay much attention to sports. I asked him and they said they liked American football, probably most. It was made by me, of course. I like it, you know, thanks to all of them that helped me. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll show you guys around. Have we got fly? Uh, we got flying on. We are flying on, all right. Well, basically, uh, a lot of these stands here were done by WinJ, which was nice of him. Uh, this chest here, I can't get rid of. Somebody's locked it, so I can't just go pew pew pew. Look, it's, it's got a magical spell in it, as in they've locked it so nobody can go in it. Sadly. So I can't just remove it. But WinJ kindly did these uh, stalls all the way around. These stalls are basically, you know, you'll be at a stadium. You think, oh, I'm hungry. So uh, I guess I'll go uh, outside, just get myself a bit of food, maybe a drink, something to eat at least, something to drink. And then, you know, you'll go back into the stadium, sit down, watch the game. And, you know, you'll happily eat and drink whatever you've just bought. Uh, to see the guys, that's all furnished inside there now. But I don't know if I cannot get an updated version. I will ask Potato for an updated version of the download. Hopefully I can get it. I'm not too sure if I will be able to. But if I cannot, none of that inside there will be on it, sadly. These are the ticket vendors. You'll uh, say you've bought your ticket online. You'll come over here. At the moment, it's closed, you know. So basically, the guy who opens it up, he'll, uh, he'll be able to get through here. He'll then go inside here open up this door this is usually the manager's job come round here and BAM lever and we're open guys we are open let me just shut this because potato still needs to do a server saturday for this so i'll let him find that out later on because potato needs to still do his little tour of the stadium for his channel oh whoa 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 what was that 
Now let me through. So there we go. So we're not going to show the pitch just yet. We're going to show the stadium at the moment, guys. I really like it. We it's just an awesome job everyone that has helped. This has basically took this has been a month's work basically, guys, and wow, a month's work. Usually my stadiums take several several months. That this just shows how much work we have had done on it. And we don't usually do all this as in put all this detail on the inside. And I think it could be my biggest stadium, I'm not too sure on that, but it is big and it has a lot of detail on it. It really does look nice. Here are the staircases to go up higher levels, but we won't go on them yet. Uh, what, see, you've just, I've basically shown you this part. What I'm gonna do now is I'll show you around this side. This is one of the entrances. I don't think you guys have seen it. If you were part of my Facebook or, or were on the live stream last week, I finished these two entrances. I did this one and the other side. Basically, this here is the player's entrance. Nothing fancy, nothing at all like that. Basically, the players, say like Old Trafford, they have a little entrance on the side. You know, the players will park the cars, walk in. And then that's basically the player's entrance. The players are allowed in here. Obviously, other fans can come in here, but I mean, mainly it is for the players, as in it's a quicker journey for them. This, I really do like. that. This is all the furnishing, guys. It looks awesome, in my opinion. Loads of colours, really nicely well lit up. This is the only part of the stadium that doesn't have torches planted everywhere, all around it. So, because we worked really hard to... um sort of space out the lighting in a way like these nice chandeliers well, basically you just have a little bit of a sort of a bit of color here well as soon as you walk in and you have these uh staircases <coughs> pardon me uh, guys i'm just gonna let you know now if i start yawning expect it it's almost uh 3 a.m in the morning so i've not had a yawn yet i usually yawn every single time i make one of these so yeah but basically what I'll do is, I'll, this is basically a tour guys, so this could be a long one, it is a big thing. So I'll start on the bottom here, this was made by um, oh, Toasted Beef, I'm not going to be able to remember the names of everyone who built certain things, but this is the, um, the souvenir shop. If you don't know Team Mongoose very well, then you will not understand a lot of the things he has on here. Cataconic uh, Cats, he does the music for um, Team Mongoose. So yeah, he's, these just symbolise some of the stuff. You got Twitches, pumpkins, you know, uh, Adam's cookies. We got a bit of he played cheats wow characters because I, I think he wears a lot of level. I'm not too sure. I don't watch his live streams. But that's where he, do, he, he does his wow. You see, you got Brenny Brenny Beast. Yeah, he's he's just reaching 75k subscribers, which is awesome. And that's just for his accent. <laughs> Change his accent on them. Accent. Accent, that's the one. God. Some things red eyes, yep. Yeah. Bunches, what can I say? He's always got things on his eyes. Sniper Goo, obviously known for being uh, the Church of Goo gold blocks. If you have a gold block, you got to give it him. Puddles always walks around with his little pedo bear costume, so you know, leather armor. There you go. And we have potato pins. I'm not too sure what that is, but whatever. I'm, something to do with potatoes, I'm guessing. <laughs> So if you want to buy your uh, collectible sniper goo which key change, you can simply come over here. And then on these we have all sorts of random souvenir junk. You, If you want to buy, come in, you know. And then we have, uh, what's these? Yep, if you want to buy potatoes, uh, t-shirts, they go in different colours. And Puddles is hats, since uh, they must have uh, some pretty decent swag. This is a really nice design he's done for the, um, what's the, what do you call them now, the desk. I, 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 when I saw it, I was like, this is something new. I've not really seen something like this. It looks pretty nice. So we'll go out of here now. But yeah, the awesome job that he's done here. We'll move along to this cafe. I did the colours around the end just to... Basically, the what I, I like sort of marked out stuff. So that everybody could sort of like, you know, then go and add their stu uh, stuff. Because they were helping me out, so I had to get stuff done. This was a cafe made by... Ooh... Jaho, sorry if I said that wrong. Uh, basically, it's a nice one. He's got a lot of room. If it, you basically you walk in here, come round to the kitchen area. You'll you'll order something up here. Order cake here if you wanna. If you're hungry, order some. I really like this kitchen. When I saw it, I thought it was something different for a kitchen. It's nicely spent. Um, spread out, you know. And I really do like it. My kitchens would have been pretty shitty, you know. 
just my kitchens, and what the hell's that? I have no idea. But that's a nice little idea. You'll come up here. You stand taller than everybody else, unless you know an Enderman walks in. So yeah, nice. Little oh, oh, didn't mean to do that. Let me just get rid of that. There we go, and we'll uh, close that. And you know, just just to sort of some when Jay's just kind of killed himself accidentally. I'm guessing he fell down the one staircase that was not done. Maybe I do not know. We got some nice little colourful features here, just to sort of get away from all the wooden tables. Overall, it's a really nice. The colours used is pretty good. Um, I added a lot of glowstone lights because I really didn't. I, I'm fine with torches on walls. I just didn't want them on the floor. It was so annoying. But if you're a player, you've come in from uh, the doors over there. You walk around. This is what you would do. Uh, uh, you know, you'd come over here. There'll be a guy sat in here. He was just just gonna pretend he can control this. You know, he'll walk. Be like, all right, uh, let let me through. My player. He'll simply go through it and. Bam! We're through. I'm not going to show that bit just yet. Same for this side. And we've got these lighting parts again. Um, here we have the toilets. These were done by Carlton Banks. He sort of modelled them after the ones I did up above, but he did switch them up a bit. This is the male one. Your typical um, urinals. You go... Pew, 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 pew. Yep. And then you have these sinks. I'm not sure if I've seen these sinks before. I did them up up top. I did like this because, you know, you walk up to a sink. Usually there's a mirror. And a lot of people seem to just look in the mirror. It's like, yep. If it was me, I'd just go in there, wash my hands after I've had uh, a pee or something. And walk out. So I don't need to look at myself in the mirror. I, I'm not honestly bothered, you know. Uh, here's the, you know, if you need to. We have the old, uh, you can use a ladder to get on there. And it's filled with water. Put your ass on there. Maybe you'll fall in, maybe you not. Know. You know, and we're just gonna we're just gonna pretend these are naked women, because you know usually boys' toilets, like Phil, oh what's it called? There's a film out right now, something like Forgetting Sarah Marshall. In the toilets on there, uh, in the men's toilet, they had pictures of naked uh, women flashing and stuff in there. So well, that's what we're just gonna pretend these are. And we have the females' toilets. They, I don't think they have. No, they don't have pictures. Obviously, the women like to always look in the mirror, so they'll, you know, they'll appreciate the mirrors. And because they don't use urinals, they have a lot more of these uh, toilets just for them. <laughs> don't forget to floss in a toilet. Has he got more? Uh oh. Lewis caught chlamydia at a phone party. Ah. <laughs> oh. That's because I do not have chlamydia, guys, but the phone parter, yes. I'll explain that after I've read these. If you believe, then you can achieve. I cannot remember. I've heard that before. And, mmm, mmm, mmm. But the story about the phone party, guys. I went to a phone party the other night. And, uh, oh, there's Win J. Think he's stalking, I'm not too sure. I went to a phone party the other night, it was awesome. Had a lot of fun, drank a lot, spent too much money. Spent about 100 quid, which is, I usually spend about half that. But, the, I, I can't remember a great deal from that night. Other than halfway through, several people ripped my top off. And basically, yeah, I ruined my, everything I wore, my nicely, uh, pretty, I won't say they were new, but my trainers, they were ruined. My jeans, my my legs were basically blue from the colour of my jeans. They went from dark blue, well, na dark navy blue to light blue. I was like, damn it. I, I did like them jeans. And that shirt I had, I did, I did like that shirt. And that's basically now, I don't know, that ended up going on the floor somewhere inside the uh, phone party. So, I lost that shirt. Not bothered, because I wouldn't have been able to wear it again. So, <laughs> But yeah, like I was saying, um... The foam, though, um, I don't know what it was, but whatever chemical was in that foam, foam, in that foam, I must be allergic to it because, uh, yeah, my face is burning. It's what's made me sort of ill, and yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't even know. I must be allergic to whatever it is. It's like dried out my skin. I'm not too sure. So, I'll just have to wait out this, and then hopefully it'll go away pretty soon. It probably will. So, uh, yeah, that's about that. But in the end, I ended up running around um, Salford. Uh, not, well, not, oh, I ended, I ended up running around Salford shirtless for about an hour. So, <laughs> I, I think I was drunk, I'm not too sure. So, 
enough of that story, let's get on with this because, uh, yeah, this is the medical centre I did, I thought, you know what, it has to have, even though it looks like an England sign, it is like uh, a cross, and I thought I'd do this, so we'll walk in here, you have, you know, your help desk, where, well, your booking desk, or if you've all, if you hurt yourself, you come in here, please, please help me, blah, 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 take a seat, please. You'll be sitting watching the TV, depending whatever's on that. Usually it's something to do with helpful stuff. You'll come in here, you'll be called in, you'll either be wait, you know, say you've come in for it as a carer, you'll be waiting for them to come out. You have the simple little beds here that they'll be waiting, they'll be attached, strapped up to a machine, stuff like that. And then again, if you want to wait inside here, then you can do that. And another one here, similar style. And this is a bit different, this one. Oh, well, we've got two more here, a bit smaller rooms, double beds more privileged I guess but this is a bit different this is the surgical room you'll come in here you you know say you need surgery you'll lie down and then you have this this will shine the light down and you're going to pretend this is like a sort of drill powered by this machine and you'll have people that will stand around you just you know stabbing you and stuff with um whatever they're called scalpels and then you have if you want to collect any information then you've got them if you like heart monitors all that sort of stuff and where yeah yeah, it's, yeah 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 right but that's the basis of this this is the downstairs done guys i think when jay is stalking me hello hello you sure you so what i thought but we'll come around here and again we've got this again i will go upstairs now this is going to take ages it's going to be a long one but it's fine we're going to go all the way to the start we this this part may hopefully be on the download by the way if we don't get it updated but again this is the toilet i did male female simple urinals you have your little mirrors cuz you know you may want to look you got your um the toilet the cubicle there we'll go into the women's one and there I can't remember what they were. They're taps. I could have used a lever. I don't know why I did. Didn't. And these are those like vanity tables. They like to all pamper themselves up and all. So they can use that. And then you have your simple. Yes, these. Uh, you know we. I was gonna call it a potty then. <laughs> but you know you you go and uh, take a dump or do whatever you do 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 your business. Uh, so this is the cafe, cafe pool made by uh, the second cafe done by Tajaho. I, I asked him to do the cafes because he did the first one, and I thought, you know what, he did the first one. I'll ask him to do the second one because he did a really good job. I do like this one. Uh, you know, he's got a lot of uh, simple tables spread out really nicely. You've got room to walk about, and you know, if you're in the kitchen, they'll come out here serve you your food. We'll walk into the kitchen and again. He's got a nice kitchen, nicely spread out and stuff. You'll go in here. You're higher than everybody else. Serve you. Uh, you know, you take orders and stuff here. Brewing stands, obviously, because if it was me, I'd be brewing up a cup of coffee on there. You have your little drive-through, except it's a walk-through. You know, you'll order through there or you know whichever you want to do. Then you make the food and stuff inside here we'll just come out of here there you go so that's the awesome cafe done by them these chandeliers i can't remember where i got them from i looked at somebody's like uh church of goo that on the server and it was awesome i really loved the chandeliers and i basically copied them I did, he de we decided to um, extend the uh, cafe out a little bit and add a few tables, waiting areas around here. Here's the first medical centre I dum I did, and I decided to add the uh, Pokemon. The dum 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 dum. Uh, yep, yeah, you walk in, book in. You have these. I haven't, I hadn't seen these done before. I'm not too sure, but these are they, uh, the little things where. Say there's a corridor, they'll be pushing you on them, you see. They, they, it's, pretend there's wheels there, the patient's on there, they're just pushing you down the hallway. That was sort of the idea I sort of got from them, yeah? A waiting area there. We have these a little, again, these are little rooms privileged because they have two nice little... This is, you know, the strapped up to the monitors because you want to find out what you want. As in, like, the, all their information, like, what's wrong with them. And it'll all be stored on, like, you know paper and on there digitally these are the cur I did like these little curtain design uh, curtain designs you know I did you could just pretend that you know you could keep pulling the curtain across to shut it that's why I continued this on for the rail so that was this medical center but this is a smaller one now this this is the gym these the spiders there's been a spider to, of course a couple of spiders in here just working out like these three Whew. I think I'll have to put them out of the misery. Oh, that one's disappeared, alright. Hey, boys. Oh, oh, no, no. Get get out my sword. My sword. There we go. Alright, alright. Come on. Come on. 
Ch -ch 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 die. Thank you very much. And these, these are the bikes. I did like these for the handlebars. These are the bikes, you know. You wait, if I might, you can sit on these. Uh, have I got any? Sp I don't. Uh, do all this clear inventory? Oh. There's a mod. There's a mod on this. Wait, if I turn the fly off, that. There we go. No, no, is it not doing it? No, oh, I can't do it. But there's a mod on the server. Wind J dry di dying again. There's a mod on the server where you can just sit on stuff like uh, chairs, which helps. Like, there's a few pictures around the forums of uh, just a load of people sitting next to each other. But you know, you'll sit on these bikes. This here, I, I don't know why. I should have put like a little monitor there, like a bl iron block, because when you're running, you want to know how much you've sort of like ran and stuff. But yeah, these are like the idea. I sort of got the bikes where you'd be pedaling and stuff like that. And if you want to put to uh, pass the time, watch a bit of TV. These are the oh, what are they called now? Uh, the push-up things. I forgot the uh, the actual name for them. Push-up bench. I can't. I can't remember. But you know, you'll be lay under there pushing the weights. Same thing here and here. These are the treadmills. You know, just go. I'm flying, but you know it doesn't matter. You know, just sprinting. You find your details out. There we go. These are just like so in some gyms there are little like benches where you can lie down and start doing crunches and stuff. Uh, uh, so that's what these are for. And these are just little benches you can just sit down and they're not not really for anything. Ropes if you want to climb them. And these are the the shelves that have the dumbbells on. Because there's all in at most gyms there's a there's like a side that has lots of different size dumbbells. So that's basically what they are. Here we have the uh, this is these are just shops now. This is the the crappy flag shop I did. I decided to put a waving flag because that's that song by Khan or whatever his name is. I can't remember the the, the South Africa. Euro, not Euro, uh, World Cup song, like the waving flag, blah, 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 blah. but yeah, simple, uh, shop, these are all just simple shops, these, uh, a candy shop done by Tajaho, you'll come in, you'll pick your candy, you walk over here, you'll buy and then you'll walk out and start eating your candy, that's what you usually do, clothes shop by Tajaho, you know, you'll decide what you're going to get, you'll get it, pay, uh, try it on in here, and what if we did, we added, to Jaho added these, which means, um, when you were in here, the that would go red, which was a pretty sweet idea, so, what you'll do is, you'll click that, wait, is it going to do it, right, so we'll click that now, and then basically it's gone off, and it's open, basically saying it's occupied, so I thought it was a nice idea. Uh, we'll keep going on, these are more little little, little mini pub shops, this is a mini pub, brewing stands, walk over here, buy some like a Carlin, Budweiser, all sorts of stuff, uh, buy it, sit down, relax, drink the beer. Uh, this is uh, Magic the Mongoose card store, so I think that's to do with like, uh, oh I get like, Magic the Gathering, yeah I get it. And it's a card shop, a trading card game. So you have your potato, potato RG cards, all these little boot uh, bundle and stuff like that. You got your Brenny booster pack. This was a pretty nice one. I, I thought it was a really good idea, me. Uh, and it'll cost you twenty dollars, twenty dollars, which is about fifteen pounds or something for me. This is the oh my god, oh my god, video games. Okay, yeah. So basically, it's your video games. Everything is 90 bucks, bloody hell. And Puddles Football Pro 28. <laughs> uh. So that was a nice that. <laughs> I like that one. This is the club magazine show. This, so, you know, you walk in, say you want to know all the fixtures, everything about the club, what's coming up, all that sort of stuff. You'll come in, it, you'll buy your club magazine, you'll pay for it, walk out. And then you'll read it. Do whatever you want. And this is the uh, the party show. 18 plus. Basically, we sell poles to women only. You'll buy a pole. You buy your woman a pole. You come in all sizes to pleasure to please your woman's pleasure. There are actually three. You know, so you know your woman can just dance on all these weird shaped poles. That's the basic idea of it. Here is the trophy. You know they've won all these because they're, they're such good competitors. And you can just chill out here and relax. But I tell you what, we've been going for long, I think, guys. We've been going for 25 minutes. Wow, this is going to be a long one, bloody hell. We haven't got too much, though, after, after these rooms were basically done. This is a museum. I spent a lot of time on this because I wanted to get it right and lit up well. 
This is Potato's brain. If you look inside, it shows it has diamonds, gold, just because he's just money. His brain is money, basically. <laughs> uh, boom. If you know much about Team Mongoose, there bunches. Bas uh, basically, Alex, when he's uh, doing it, he's the one that dies by creepers a lot. <laughs> Here we have the Team Mongoose. Yeah, let's be honest, let's not kid ourselves. Obviously, Team Mongoose slayed Israfel. You have to deal with it, guys. It wasn't the Ox cast, let's be honest now. You have your simple one step to survival, which is your dirt house, you'll sleep. And that's how it goes. And you have basically no, none of this is possible without Minecraft. So there's the Minecraft logo, simple as that. Well, basically, we're going to pretend now that this is the everyone, you know, the full team of Team Mongoose on that picture. We don't, I, I don't have any of the pictures. And then these are all the ones that are just members of Team Mongoose, basically. So if you want to, we're just going to pretend every single mo team uh, member of uh, Mongoose Country uh, there on there. We'll stroll along here, and then this basically singles out every single non -mon uh, Team Mongoose. Oh, someone's been removing them, eh? But basically, this singles out every single Team Mongoose member. And basically, you just got to guess which one is which. And I'm just going to leave you guys to that, because you won't be able to tell. Uh, <coughs> pardon me, guys. I don't know what that was. This is Potato Argy's face. And he is always watching us, because he is the colourful admin. And, you know, he is always... And here we are. I did these just because it'll, it's a bit of a, a memory. You know, Brenny Beast, you know, grats for 75k subscribers. I think he's hit it. I'm not too sure. He was like 20 subs away. I think he has hit it. This one is a uh, award for Bessie. She is the cow of the month award. She put up with all of Alex's and Team Mongoose's shenanigans. Sniper Goo, Halo God forever. He is very good on Halo. Puddles, he is an artiste. So, yeah, he gets the artiste of the month award. And Potato gets the admin of the month award because he is an awesome guy. This is basically American football that they use to win the world. To basically win the world, basically. That's what it is. But basically, guys, that's just this. I really do like this section because it's, really, it's nicely furnished. Now, I will take you around here. You're a player. You'll walk. Get around here. Come through and... Boop, 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 boop. Here we go. This is the home changing room. Simple as that. You'll get changed, get your kits, get changed. And if you want to shower, bam. You look in the mirror, since a lot of bloody football players bother with their image. So, yeah. This is where you get changed. Well, this is where you have your shower. Look in the mirror. Get changed. And it's simple as that. A few pictures for you to look at. And we have the away one. The, uh, that had the uh, the home colours, and this has got away colours. Again, simple as that. Very simple design, but very nicely done by um, uh, Tribeam. Now we will walk on to the pitch. And here we go, guys. This is it. The American football pitch done by uh, Nace. Nace the, the one I can't pronounce. I'm sorry, Nacinger. That's, I think that's right. I think that's it. Nacinger. I think that is right. Sadly, Fraps isn't loading the full thing up, guys, but it looks awesome. You know, we got Mongoose one side and Giants on the other side. I really do love what we've done, what, what we've been able to achieve with this stadium. Sadly, we can't get rid of the snow, but it, it's fine. It's fine, guys. It looks awesome, this day. I really do like it. The roof has come out nicely. I had my doubts with the, uh, with these lot, uh, bars, but, you know, I had my doubts, but that's fine. It's Let's just continue on. But it look, I, I really do like it. We've got really high levels. I'm not too sure what the aesthetics are, but I didn't bother with the aesthetics much. Obviously, you're here, you can't see much. But, if, you know, the higher you get, the more you obviously get to see. But, you know, you're further away, so it's not too clear for you. Here, the, you know, I like the structures I did there. These are, you know, you cannot get here from the top level. No, no, no. These are the ones that like, they get people that just seem to wander. There's always people that wander about stadiums, so I've done this especially for them. And if you if you know if you don't want to have a chance of someone somehow happen to kick a ball up here and hit you, you've always got protection there, you know. So we've got the real. You got it looks really nice. People want me on Skype, but let's ignore that for now. 
you know, I've done it so that you can walk around. Obviously, it's not the best because we didn't have the time. I would have liked to have had more time to have been able to make it a bit better. But that's fine, guys. I'm fine with it. But, you know, we'll come down here. Come into here. And then here's this level. I think this leads down. Yeah, that it's just this is just the same all the way around. But we'll use this to go down one more level. We didn't finish properly this section, but that's fine because we haven't got the glass uh, and we didn't fill all them in properly. And also, we didn't fill all these sadly. But I mean, it was we we gave we gave a good effort, guys. We did really well to have got this much done. I am proud of everyone that helped. It was it's a real achievement to have got all this done, you know, it's really nice that everyone actually helped and pitched in. Uh a lot of these were nicely done, like this one. Looks awesome if you ask me. Really nicely done with how much space they had. We'll just go back up here. This is quite simple. We've still got chests around because pe I think people are just still gonna I may still go uh you know, try and do it, but you know, it's Basically, map reset in a, in a few hours, so there's really no point in me continuing, you know. But like always, you can walk about, or you can just walk around here, because that's what you're doing. Same, there's a lot of places where you can walk around. You've got structures like I really do like this pillar, and it's like I said, it's well lit up, you know. So carry on walking around. This this is basically the inside, guys. We haven't been able to do a great deal other than that one big large section. But man, I really like this view. Gotta go, Lewis. Good luck and finish the sound. Thanks for help letting me help. No problem, man. Thanks again. Bye. There we go. Just gotta say, just gotta get, gotta say bye, cause he he helped me a lot. He did all them stalls. There was a lot of stalls, so he put a lot of his time. But that looks really nice. The curve on it. I really do like the curve. The curve for it is it, it, it curves two different ways. It curves that way. And it curves upwards as well. So it was annoying at the start. But I was derping when I was doing it. Which was getting annoying. So here we have these little sections here. Because we have extra. If you want to get into the same. You can also come this way. And if you want to go up to the higher levels. You can go by these. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's happening? There we go. But um, not all of these were furnished. Sadly guys. I would have liked to have got some more furnished. But. We just don't have the time, like I said. These ones around here were furnished, I think. Part that, that one was partly done. That one's partly done. That one's partly done. That one is furnished, so it's that was awesome of Tribeam to do that for me. Is it this? So I'll just show you all the outsides, guys, before we end this. So here's one of the outsides. Let me just get rid of that. I, I really do like that. The little design we had going on the middle there. It, it, I really did like it. I decided to keep the top the top design there, that all the way round, just to keep a bit of consistency, there, as well as the corners, then change up the doors. I actually thought we were going to hit that at one point, which was going to be awkward. And here is the other side. I really do like this one. It was a weird design. Oh, man, it's not loading up. Come on, fraps. It was, <laughs> it was a weird design with that, but I decided to stick with that. And then Team Mongoose. And then we have our little flags to show. To support for our team. So I did like this section that we did. And you know it was all hung up there. That's a nice little thing there. And we spelt Team Mongoose. I did like this one as well you know. So all in all guys this stadium is looking awesome. You guys can download it as soon as I get the download. I will title this as the download. Because as soon as I get the download. I will put it in the description. I'll probably put an annotation on screen throughout the whole of the video if you want that as well. Could, but this is the last episode, guys, on the Team Mongoose Theme Stadium. I'll be getting back to my regular one of the Villa Real because we got to get that. we got to finish that. We were near the end of that. So we need to start finishing the exterior on that one now. So thanks to all you guys that have, uh, you know, held in there with these stadiums. Because they you know, obviously take long... And, you know, I just, if as long as you guys keep giving me awesome feedback, I'll keep motivating myself to do it. Because I have to spend quite a long time. So, yeah. Okay, that, that's about it, guys. Uh, tomorrow we got the FIFA, well, I'll, I'll be do, I'll be building the Villarreal Stadium on the live stream. And for all those that wanted one of my, um, players on FIFA 2012 Ultimate Team Xbox 360. 
just pop in, say, can I have a player, please? You have to use manners, you know. But I mean, just pop in, ask, and then I'll give you one, or... Uh, I may random which one you get, because you could get lucky, you may not, so unlucky. So, I, d I don't know, because I'm not bothered too much about that. But, that's about it, guys, you know. If you are, if you like this stadium you've held in, we built this in time... Well, almost, we got 96, 7% finished... Thank you to everyone who helped on the server. Would never have got this far without all you guys, which is awesome, man. Uh, yeah, like I said, if you like this episode, always hit the like button to keep updated on all my stadium builds, which is, you know, a stadium update every week per usual, guys. Two Human, which I've started that awesome game. Guild Wars 2, I'm not sure if my PC can handle fraps with that, so I don't think I'll be posting content, but I am on that server. I am on that. If uh, I'm on the Fisher of Woe European server, if you want to come on there, my name is It's the Mark. If you want to add me, it's that simple, guys. But if you want to see Potato Wargy's uh, tour of my stadium, as soon as he uploads that, it'll be within the next few days. I will put it in the description as well. So in the description, guys, you'll have all the live stream details, the download, and the server Saturday of the stadium that Potato Wargy does. So yeah, that's about it guys. Thank you if uh, for watching, keep updated and all that stuff. Subscribe. But that's about it guys and I guess I'll see you till next time. Bye.